Good morning, everybody. Jim Hoffman here, pastor at St. John's United Methodist Church. It's Monday, and it's time for our daily devotion. So I am on the St. John's Facebook page, and I am your host for our devotion time today. I want to invite you to come and join me if you would. As you do, if you want to leave a quick comment, let me know you're present. That would be awesome. Would appreciate you doing that. I'm just going to pause here and watch and wait for a moment. Hi, Linda. Good morning to you. Hi, Barbara. Good morning to you. It's a good Monday. It's the Monday after Easter Sunday. I'm just going to watch for a little bit, as I said. Going to see who all joins today on our devotion time. Leave quick comments as you do. Hi, Jack. Good morning to you. Oh, and Pat's with you. Good morning, Pat. Glad you're here as well. Morning, Stacy. Our devotion today comes out of Psalm 121, the 121st Psalm, Psalm 121. Morning, Bill. Glad you're with us today. Psalm 121. We'll be reading the whole psalm today. All eight verses. Good morning, Barbara Meyer. Glad you're here today. Psalm 121, verses 1 to 8. All right, let's begin with our prayer of illumination, and then we will get started with our devotion. O God, by your spoken word, you created everything that is. By your incarnate word, you redeemed us. By your comforting word, you are with us still. Prepare us now to hear your word to us this day. Amen. Psalm 121, verses 1 to 8. A song of ascents. I lift my eyes up to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he, keep, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. For the Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. For the Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep you. You're going out and you're coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Amen. Our devotion writer today is B. Bosham. And B is from Texas. And focus verse is Isaiah 41 verse 10 in the King James Version. It reads, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, I will help thee. I will uphold thee with the righteous hand, with my right hand of my righteousness. Isaiah 41.10 And here is B's devotion for today. I woke up on, January on a January morning in 1996 to find my husband of 32 years having a seizure. That morning my world collapsed. After being in intensive care for two months, he was sent to re a rehab center where I was trained to be his caregiver in our home. It took two weeks of full-time care for me to realize that this plan was not sustainable. 
I remember sitting on my sofa exhausted and feeling like a bird in a cage. I began calling a list of caregivers, but it seemed everyone was either unavailable or too expensive. Finally, a young woman said she could help me and would charge an amount I could afford. She came over that day and allowed me to rest. I did not get the miracle of healing for my husband that I prayed for each day. My husband died about a year later, but God was with me through it all. And while my life changed forever that one January morning, God has led me through more than 20 years of being a widow. However, I know that I am never alone with God on my side. Thought for the day is even when my world collapses, God is with me. Now, personally, for Margaret and I, neither one of us have had to really deal with this kind of circumstance or situation. We may in the future, just based upon some of the things that we've experienced with our own parents. We are watching Margaret's parents kind of go through these transitions in their lives. They are both in their mid to later 80s. My mother-in-law is now at the point where we um, are hiring somebody, we, uh, my father-in-law is hiring somebody to come in one or two days a week to spend a few hours with her, just helping her do some different things because she's having trouble walking um, and, and things like that. Uh, they think she might have some early onset signs of Parkinson's and things like that. So um, as soon as we get through those kinds of things, um, we'll figure out what's next. But she, right at the moment, she has some help that's coming in a couple of days a week. It gives my father-in-law a chance to be able to move around and do some different things and for him to be able to go and uh, do some chores or, or different stuff like that, um, meet some of their needs uh, outside of the home. My dad was my mom's caregiver for a long time, had to do everything pretty much for her as well. But you know, the interesting thing is both of them have communities of faith that they go to. My father-in-law has the Catholic Church that he attends in Lee Summit, Our Lady of the Presentation. My dad goes to Mana Fellowship. And so they've got these communities around them that are helping and supporting them and reminding them that in the middle of all of this, they are not alone. And I think that's the key for each and every one of us is to be connected in a way that we'll be able to be reminded that we are not alone in some of these things, that, that we need to be people who are deeply connected to others. And as such, we'll find ourselves connected through that. So think about the ways in which you're going through some things and how God is with you as we close in prayer. O Emmanuel, thank you for hearing our prayers and walking alongside us. Amen. Well, thanks everybody for being here today for our devotion time. I apologize. I'm cutting this a couple seconds short. I've got a person here that is um, uh, here to do our fence. And so I need to go talk with our fence folks. But I hope you enjoy the rest of your beautiful Monday. God's peace be with you. Thanks.